The most common type of index in Oracle is a B tree index. The B in B tree stands for balanced, and it is a balanced tree that a B tree index maintains as its data structure, not a binary tree. A B tree index is a good general purpose index that lends itself to a wide variety of applications. It is far and away the type of index that you will use most frequently. A B tree index consists of a tree structure that looks similar to what you see on the screen. The first thing to understand is that in these nodes down here at the bottom of the screen, the leaf nodes, the data in the index is stored in sorted order. Why this is important is that now we can build a tree structure on top of this sorted data, and that is what is represented by the green blocks up here, the branch nodes. Within these branch nodes, we see these boxes with values like A0 and A1 in them. And what these boxes represent is the values stored in the branch nodes about where the breakpoints are within the data. So when we have an operation that is traversing the index, it knows from these breakpoints which child node it should read next. And so what is going to happen is that we're going to traverse the index until we get down to one of the blue boxes at the bottom, one of the leaf nodes. The leaf nodes contain the index keys and the associated row ID for the index key. So once in the leaf node, Oracle can quickly find the values of the index that match the condition that was passed in and the associated row IDs, which is what we're really after. In Oracle, a row ID contains information not just about the data block of where the data for the row is stored, but the actual location inside of the data block where the row is located. So once we have the row IDs we are after, we can very efficiently find the data we're looking for. When Oracle reads an index, there are three possibilities. The first possibility is that there are no index keys that match your criteria, which means that no rows in the table match that criteria. And the result here is pretty obvious. We get no data back from this operation. The second possibility is that Oracle finds a single index key that matches the criteria used to read the index. This could be because there is just one matching row in the table, or this is a unique index. So in this case, Oracle will read that key and return its corresponding row ID. The third and most likely outcome is that there are multiple values in the index that match the criteria being used. For example, you could have an index on the last name column. And for pretty much any last name out there, it's likely that there will be more than one record in the table for that last name. Or you could have an operation that is specifying some sort of range, like a date range. In these cases, Oracle will traverse the index to the first matching key and then read the index forward until it finds the last key that matches the access predicate for the index. And the reason that Oracle can do this is because the rows are in sorted order. Now what happens if the index keys that match the criteria span across multiple leaf blocks in the index as shown here? That is no problem because each leaf block contains a bidirectional pointer to the next leaf block. So once Oracle gets to the leaf block level, it can simply read the matching index keys even it has to jump over another leaf block. If you have taken any computer science courses in data structures during your academic career, you know that it is generally much faster to traverse a tree structure like this than to perform a sequential scan against a large data structure. In computer science, we use the big O notation to describe the expected performance of an algorithm. For a balanced tree, which is what our index is, the average search will be performed in log n operations, where n represents the number of items in the data structure. In a sequential scan, which would correlate to a full table scan, the number of operations is simply n, the items in the data structure. So for a table that has 1 million rows, we can locate an item in a B-tree structure in 19 comparisons, whereas a sequential scan operation would take 1 million operations. And of course, as the number of rows grows, the rate of growth of the log in algorithm is much lower than of the linear algorithm. And in Oracle, the penalty is actually worse than this, because in our index, we can use the power of the B tree structure such that we only have to read a few blocks off of disk, usually less than 10, whereas in the sequential scan example, we have to first perform a large amount of I.O. and then perform our search. And this is what a B tree index is really all about. We are paying some overhead to build and maintain this tree structure, but once we have the tree structure, it can be traversed very quickly and efficiently to locate the pointers to the rows that we need.